Hello, what's up, man? Today is the episode eleven. Wow! With the first video, let's get cracking with the reaction, shall we? Oh, uh, let's just say last episode, the one thing thing I remember from it is just you know they have some reference to some of the an anime scenes like Akira and uh, when we were posing to it with the beer in her face. It's like kind of reminds me, uh, reminds us of some sort of um director. Um, yeah. With the first video, let's get cracking with the reaction. In three, two, one, bam. I'll get into the recap along with the opening. Notified days into deadline. Yeah, the cutting close, man. They are really cutting close. And yes, the art club is helping out with like some of the background scenery. Ah, <laughs> oh, he's back complaining again. <laughs> Why is he eating cucumber? Really? Cucumber? Mm-hmm. Easy breezy. 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 Uh, so yeah, last episode, well, let's just say the student council team, they are really going to put on a restriction to them, um, you know, selling their products on a convention. And of course, the teacher kind of support that fact too, because, you know, they don't want the student to be focusing on, uh, you know, realistic future stuff, you know, involving money and stuff like that. But, you know, um, best girl had to step in to, like, try to save the day, because, well, I mean, she is the only one who can able to, like, hold a, a proper negotiation with, you know, the higher-ups and stuff like that, since, you know, she has a very cool personality, a relaxed personality around this, and, well, you know, they, they're they not really a fan of uh, the Ace of Ken so far, because, you know, regarding to how reckless they did with they still promote the products back in the cultural festival. Although it was a success, but they leave a very bad impression with the student council, that's how they try their best to, like, stop them, but who knows? Let's just see how, how it goes. I'm pretty sure they're going to stay persistent until they manage to get to the Comic-Con uh, and able to sell the products. So, we shall see, of course. In that episode, they pretty much focus on getting some sounds, so that's, yeah. And they're back for more discussion. Really? Yeah, it always has to be heard at just the conversation because, you know, the other two have stand no chance. Only she can manage to hold a conversation and let them like, do the work. She's like the producer, the negotiator, the director. No, not director, the uh, manager. What? Drone? Security club. Dude, they're monitoring you. Hey, whoa, whoa what the hell, man? What the hell is this? What the fuck is going on? What the hell? Uh-huh. Oh! <laughs> Stun grenade. Well, hey, isn't it the, the secretary? Uh-huh. 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 Wow, okay, all this for that. Wow, okay, advanced infiltration much. <laughs> exactly. Thanks for breaking down the window and door. <laughs> mm hmm Yeah, okay. That was a random scene, but okay, at least they at least they got out the nuisance. Yeah, it seems like they're making progress, but it seems like they need some time to go through some ideas too. 
I mean, they managed to get some good sound, but they need the uh, ideas flowing, so it's, yeah. Oh, oh wow, look at those. Uh, whatever they are running. What the hell? They're like Spartans. <laughs> Guten Morgen. And they're speaking German too. A flower that represents peace. Maybe she learned, he, she learned something about the vice principal and maybe able to use it against her. Mm -hmm. Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, captured the escapee. Oh, so she was escaping. Oh, so she was escaping. <laughs> wow, we captured the raccoon. <laughs> oh, hey, it's the, uh, their supervisor. Exactly. Well, she, he's, he is a supervisor after all, so he had to do the arduous task of supervising them, even on the weekends. Well, duh. It's not, not, it's not easy to be a supervisor. <laughs> wow, okay. Uh -huh. Wow, oh, wow, okay. Find ways to enjoy doing work. But well, that's some skillful um, conversation right there regarding to work environment. Exactly. So have fun, young lady. Oh, I don't think she really had no the value of fun because like she all she's focusing on like making sure pro uh, uh, the products being produced and able to sell to make money she's more like those strict type person while the other two is more like a relaxed animator yeah i know i know how that feels man like you know you just want to get you don't want to get on with this stuff and while they're just messing around Wow, they managed to discover some nice place to have a nice view. Wow, okay. <laughs> Choker. What the hell, man? What kind of riverway is this? This is such a nice place, man. And they can walk on it too. Damn. Uh -huh. Oh, hey, they've been monitored. Oh, she have been stalked. Uh huh. Ah ha! Why funny? <laughs> Why bunny, man? Hey, they found a solar panel town. And there's fish too. Wow, okay. Oh, so it's left abandoned. Submarines, yeah. Oh, okay, submarines. So they have IT for submarines. Yeah, I do wonder what they're doing. Are they like looking for ideas for inspiration for their anime or something? So yeah, and it's kind of, kind of deep, very deep. You have to swim for it. Oh, they sw they are swimming for it. Oh no, never mind. No, not Kappa, of course. 
So are you planning to swim or are you planning to just like sit by? Or they managed to create some idea from this. Okay, why not I guess. Um, okay, so they got scuba diving uh, stuff. <laughs> oh, this is one of those fantasies. I think this is like one of those fantasies. <laughs> wow, okay. Wow, that's a lot of memory flashing in front of their eyes. Azo Ken, there we go. Oh, what? Oh, what? Did you say what the hell? Why did you just to Wow, okay. What the hell, man? Oh, hey, it's the sound director. Hey, it's the sound director. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Wow, okay. That. That was uncertain. That was uncertain. That was so sudden of them to like to be closed down. Maybe she something's up with her. That's why she's not answering phone. Three years ago. Oh, okay, so this is like how those two met, and she's been left out because like you know she's a short one. <laughs> oh hey, so yeah, like you know how they met. A thug. Hey, so that's how it's how, how those two met. Of course, you can't do that by yourself. Hey, so these two became good buddies because of this. Um, partnering up stuff to do info gym class. I mean, what a nice way to become friends. Oh, so she's like one of those introverts. I mean, it can't make sense why she's an introvert in the first place. <laughs> Girl who wants friends. Hey. So, will you be part of the group to fight make money? Why not? Well, you know, she always had a, a money making mind after all, so obviously you'd be dragging to her money making schemes. Hey! Wait, she's paying him? Pay her? Wow, okay. Wow, okay. And she never rode a train too. She didn't even know the my ticket. Damn. Cause she prefer I'm bad with crowds. Oh okay. I thought she never writes I thought she never writes it because you know she never she she didn't need it, but I guess she didn't like big crowds. Makes sense I guess. Aww, wow, okay, how nice of her. Well, she just want to be friendly with you, I guess.
I mean, this is the first time riding a train after all, so obviously if there's a gear, for me I just say, yeah, it's just another day riding a train. Uh-huh. And she earns money through selling stuff to shops. Oh yeah, they do. They you uh, you know for good or arama and stuff like that. So yeah. Wow, she she knows how to make good make money. <laughs> Damn. And she's like, hmm. And from that point on they became her friends because you know she stuck she stuck around with Kamimori. What? When when not friends with our comrades? Isn't it just much of the same thing to be honest? <gasps> oh so this is where she Oh she's sick. She's sick. Oh it kinda makes sense since like you know the fact that um you know she felt uh, uh, um you know jumps to a river to save Kamimori uh save her. By the way, who drinks milk when it's sick? Ha! <laughs> Comrades here to visit you. More milk. Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, of course. Everyone gets sick once in a while. Hopefully she don't get COVID-19. <laughs> it won't be a problem because she knows how to deal with it. <laughs> uh huh. Well, of course it's big news. It, because, because, you know, she's the promoter. Yeah, of course. In a local effort in order to teach them about business. So yeah, obviously the press, the press principal will somehow say no to uh, um, lift that lift that decision to like close down the the you know their sh their workshop. No progress. No progress. Oh wait, wait there is progress. S perfecto. Oh, there is progress. Okay. What? What kind of plot for this story is this? Yeah, okay. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Um, okay. Interesting. I mean, it seems like it's a very interesting plot. Interest, yeah, very interesting plot. Okay. So the underworld city is to fight them. Uh huh. Uh-huh. 
Hey, hey. Things play out the same way. Abandoned. Destroyed. Oh, ho, ho. So it was like a sad end for them. The, for the Kafas. Ha 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 Kaffa's Uh Kaffa capturing humans and stuff like that. Was it some sort of mind game so sort of like a uh, war or something? What the hell? Um, okay. Come to a standstill and shake things off. Shake things off. Um, okay. Wow. Just like that, and the war finished. Coexistence. Right. Okay. Um. Okay. In interesting plot line you got there. Well, then at least they come up with a very unique idea. Get back to work, haha! <laughs> get back to work, you guys have this idea, get it done! <laughs> I think we're closing in on time now, since I think next episode will be the last episode. I think next week is the last episode, but we shall see, of course. Or maybe there are two more episodes to go. Oh wow, look at the voice actors doing it for them. How nice they got some advanced voice actors doing helping out with the project. What the hell man? Uh, what's wrong? What's wrong? Some sound don't match? Um, okay. What's this music? What happened? Why is this this piano? Oh, oh dear, they got the wrong soundtrack, they got the wrong soundtrack to the scene they want. Wait, then what were they doing this whole time? Oh, they gave some minor, uh, like, small sound effect for different scenes, but they didn't have like, a proper soundtrack for the whole scene itself. Wow, that's uh, tro troubling for them, because they, they don't get the right, the right soundtrack. Oh dear, I guess they need to track down some proper sound to it. But yeah, today we shall see how it goes. But, I mean, a kappa, human, human war, and then they became good, good friends and danced along and built up a coexistent society. Um, 
sure I guess that is the plot they're going for I mean there's nothing wrong with that it's like the Romeo and Juliet situation where they fight each other and then they realize they need to coexist with each other and stuff like that so okay I see it's like mutant and human and uh, society like that sort of situation human and mutant war and you know fighting each other and then learn to coexist in the end so yeah, I think that's like the so proud you want to go for. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It just seems kind of odd why they chose Kappa. Maybe because, you know, the, of water and stuff like that, and the only species that they can think of that can, like, you know, able to fight fight humans or Kappas, not mermaids, of course. Why not, like, um, Aquaman team and stuff like that? But yeah, although we get to see the fact that Kamehameha is sick and stuff like that, but, you know, it, it doesn't push her, it doesn't, like, stop her from, like, Gain, uh, making sure that things going smoothly, like you know, promotion wise and stuff like that. So you can say best girl still doing her, her doing her role while sick, despite of her being sick. But again, the plot of Kappa versus human and then coexist in the end seemed generic enough. But yeah, it seems fine to me. But the fact that it's Kappa, uh, they look, it, dude, it's basically the same, but just paint the fa the face green. Dude, that is, that is no creativity there. Why not just draw, make a real actual kappa? Or maybe this is like one of those special world where kappa took a form of humans and stuff like that. But yeah, okay. Interesting storyline they're going for. But but let's just say they, they managed to get everything uh, sorted quite nicely until... Well, the soundtrack for the show isn't the one they were looking for. So, yikes. They, need, they don't have the right soundtrack. Well, but other than that, they are getting close. I mean, they're they're, they're not they're getting close. I mean, ob obviously, um, she um, Shikami Mori is like very, not very happy with how they deal with the situation because you know they're having too much fun. But this f f being fun, it allows you to have um, it allows you to like you know add value to your creativity. I mean, obviously, they go explore, go look for ideas. In this way, the waterway can't get the idea of the Kappa world. So, yeah, like, like I said, fun. And of course, I don't think this will last long, though, because, you know, since the school been receiving a lot of people, t um, a lot of promoters telling them to uh, about the ASO cancer of that. So, there, there's no way the school will say no to this, man. The school will say, fine, we'll let it continue on since we've been pestered by the media. So, yeah. I mean, I, I, like I said, when the like, media involved in like project and stuff like that, obviously you cannot say no because you know if you say no, the media will portray you in a very bad light. So the school managed to let them continue on with the projects to just to avoid bad publicity. So yeah, but it was kind of nice to see how these two became friends. I mean, in a very weird way because they be, they were gym partners and then. You know, ever, ever since then, um, they became friends and they just went to ride a train together, learn about the world, learn about the money making process, and then they became friends. Yeah, well, should I say comrades, but in the end, they're friends in the end, but yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, I mean, next episode, they need to go and find some actual soundtrack for the, you know, the project. So, hopefully, it goes well because I have a feeling that. They were they they kind of like slacking out. Uh, they managed. They were like kind of shocked by it. So they need to like find a, a actual soundtrack that matches the scene they want. So yeah, not just piano scene, of course. So next episode, hopefully, they can get the project projects done so that they can like, get it selling to the, the to the convention early. So and then so you know people will be excited to check out the products. But till then, we shall see, of course. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Actually, today, give like, share, subscribe, 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 subscribe